Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. We're talking about update 3.5.0, which brings a couple of UI tweaks, some quality of life updates, and not only that, Terra Ventus Aqua has dropped. And on top of that, if you don't have any jewels, no problem. You can still pull because we got this banner where you sell all your old tier twos to tier tens that you don't think you're ever going to use again, that are not limited, that are not used for your uh, your keyblade, your sub slots, and you can sell them all to pull for brand new metals. A lot of old metals are in there as well too, but they're all Supernova Plus and higher, including Nominate, including Elsa, including the new Sephiroth. Everything is in this banner and it's absolutely amazing. So let's jump in and let's talk about it. So starting off, we got this new banner down here. You can see it's rainbow sparkling. Um, From the most I can tell, it's the most up-to-date quest at the moment. So whatever is on their notices, I guess at the top shows up because this event's here until January 20th, the Keyblade War. If you guys complete it, you get a uh, tier 10 of those subslot medals for every kind of attribute for reverse, upright, speed, magic, and uh, power. So I've completed it already, and it's telling me to come over here. So I guess it's not one of those banners where like, oh, you haven't completed your dailies yet, go do PvP. You haven't completed this quest yet, go do it because it ends in three days. It just shows the most recent quest, I guess, which is all right. So just in case you forgot, you click on it instead of going through events and all that, which seems kind of useful. If I'm saying this wrong, let me know down below, but I refresh this page over and over again, and nothing else has really happened besides that. I can't swipe it all i do is tap it it brings you right to the keyblade war so you skip a couple menus if you haven't done it yet well, that's the first update all right next up besides the banners over here under the shop you got increased storage we now have this very useful little dial here that lets you go up and down and choose how many slots you want to complete and it shows you the total if i want to max on my slots right now it would cost me thirty thousand jewels to increase please don't <laughs> Wait till there's a half off campaign if you guys want to upgrade. Forget about this, especially right now because we can sell all our medals for a certain draw. This is nice. Wait till it's 50 jewels. We've only got that a couple times, the storage deal, but it could happen again. If you're new, grab a couple. You know what I mean? I'm currently at 1,500. I can get up to 3,000, but I don't need that much, especially after what's going to happen today. But this is very nice. This is a huge quality of life. They should have had this from the beginning because you know how long it takes to go uh, increase? Yes, yes, okay. Increase, yes, yes, okay. And there's too much. This is actually a really nice quality of update. Uh, quality of life update. I approve this one. Just wish it was cheaper. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got the auto function for supernovas, which is going to be really, really good for PvP for all of us that just auto battle PvP. This is a life changer. This can help in raiding. It helps in everything. Having an auto button for your supernovas changes everything when it comes to farming. So good. Raid bosses, PvP is going to be the best example. Besides that, I wouldn't recommend it in events because in events, you want to certainly activate a couple medals here and there differently in different order than what they do. So if we look under supernovas, and let me just grab like Elsa here. If you go to the end of Elsa's uh, trigger, it says slot two is activated during defending in PvP. Now that's what they're going to base it off. They're going to base it off basically what's in PvP. So if the medal says it activates on slot six in PvP, that's how they'll do it in PvE content as well. So just an example, click on that button up there, push your auto button and slot one's going. I already activate Kairi. Now slot two is my Elsa's. There you go. Activate slot two in PvP. The game's automatically doing it for us. That's amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I love this. This is like such a good update. So here comes slot three because my medals are all Elsa here. He doesn't activate until the next one. So there you go. There goes Demix. There goes second form Sora. Back into Elsa. Full force. And bada boom, bada boom. That's the whole entire thing. So this is a really good update for raiding, for PvP. Just PvE content. Don't rely on that. There's better strategies just to push what you can in certain orders. Saving your supernovas for next turn, turn two. Unless you have Elsa, her supernova guilt increase carries over. Other metals don't. So you don't want that to happen for the harder quest, but that's such a good quality of life update. I love it. All right, so the last one is more on the pay to win kind of side. People who purchase jewels. Uh, the jewel pack now, I believe it's F, A, B, C, D, it is called E. It's the E one. So you know how this usually lasts for 31 day or the month. It adds until the end of the month. Instead, what they're doing is it lasts for 31 days. So the one you currently have right now does not count. I believe it says in the notice, but if you do purchase this one, you get the jewels, you get the skip tickets, and then this stays for 31 days. So if you purchase it today, you'll have it all the way until February 9th, not until January 31st or 30th, whatever's going on right now. Right? I believe it's the 31st. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> 
So with that jewel pack out of the way, we're going to go to the shop. Shop is the next thing on our list. We have Terra, Ventus, and Aqua. And you guys know already, there is going to be a pull video for Aqua on my free-to-play count. I'm only going to go for one. If I can get more than one, uh, I want two the max right now because we all know this metal will be replaced. But the amount of damage this is going to add to my counterpoint is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Aqua in the beginning as my buffer, Renova, uh, Renova, every other blue supernova, increasing everything by 20,000 plus just because of her alone. I'm going to show you guys the setup later on, the damage comparison, the buff comparison. It's going to be great. So I got pull videos coming out. I got damage videos coming out. Top tier Coliseum. I'm pretty sure I can hit with this metal. Uh, depends how many times I get it. But right now, you got to go according to your setup. If your power setup's your most powerful, go for it. If you have Kingdom Hearts 3 Elsas, go for it. But do not pull on these banners until we're done with this banner down here. This is the biggest thing right now. This I know all of you guys are going to be saying, oh, what if they bring back Supernova Plus medals where you can add five of them together, six of them together to make a Supernova Plus Plus or whatever? Yeah, that can happen. Old medals can become Supernova Plus Plus, Tier 8s, Tier 9s, Tier 7s, Tier 4s. They can do whatever they want with all these old medals. But if you don't have six copies of them, then you might as well just go for it. Now, this advice is totally different for everyone. Some people are going to be playing it safe, meaning like, okay, I have six copies of this metal. I don't want to sell it because they might make it a Supernova Plus Plus. Six copy of a tier five is a lot of polling points here. I personally am going to get rid of my entire Keyblade setup. Uh, sorry, not my entire inventory of everything I've never used. That's not on my sub slots. Even if it has a chance of becoming Supernova Plus Plus, my, even my Supernova Plus Plus medals didn't last as long as every other medal I pulled for. So personally, I'm just going to be selling everything I don't need. Everything. Whatever is not attached to a sub slot right now is what I'll be selling. So do these pulls first and then pick if you're going for Terra Ventus Aqua. You don't need Terra Ventus and Aqua. You guys can skip on that. But if you have a really good setup like I do right here, Kyrie's gone. Aqua. Done. I'll show you guys the setup later. It's going to be crazy good. I'm going to see how far I can take it in Coliseum. But back to that banner. I'm going to go sell my medals right now. And I'm going to talk about what you should keep, what you shouldn't. But in the end, it's up to you. Do you want to risk those medals being Supernova Plus? They haven't done it in a long time. JP got this banner before us, and they still haven't done anything about it. Maybe they played it smart and waited till Global got it, meaning you won't get a Supernova Plus Plus medal until February uh, February or March. So that's a lot, a lot of time. That's a lot of banners you can be pulling for that will replace those medals anyways. And even if you have one copy of a medal that does upgrade, you still need five other copies, which means jewels, which forces you to pull for them. Uh, you know what I mean? It's all up to you guys. All right. First things first, to make sure you guys are not selling anything you don't need uh, or anything you do need is go through every single one of your Keyblades and push optimize. Get every single one of these Keyblades completed, push optimize, swipe to the next one. Push optimize until you've got every Keyblade optimized fully, and that way you know you are not wasting any sub slot medals. Now, this also is going to be in the next video of mine. I'm going to just focus on this banner alone, give you guys all the advice I can. For this, I'm just going to be selling enough to do one pull with you, but I want to throw this advice in here regardless because this is like the biggest thing. Don't forget to do this before you decide to sell all your medals. I'm looking down right now because I have to swipe through all of this, but. The key trick here is not only that, even if you fully optimize your Keyblades, you guys also might consider getting rid of the lowest tier metals on your sub slots to sell them for another pull because that pull could replace them. So let's say that you have a bunch of metals that are tier 8s. You don't have nothing lower than tier 8s, but you have a lot of metals in tier 8 and that can finish off 100 points for you. Consider pulling that tier 8 off and selling it so you can do one more pull. You might get a tier 9 or tier 10. But that's also risky because if you don't have anything from there, then you just ruin your sub slot. So be careful with that little bit of vice. But it is an option as well too. They're not stuck here. You can take the sub slot medals off here. I don't recommend it for everybody. But some people might be okay. Especially if you're about to pull for the new banner after this. Like Aqua or Terra or Ventus. And you know that metal is going to get replaced. So... You're going to put a tier 10 there, take out that tier 8 or that tier 9, depending how good your sub slots are. So a quick example would be, let me go to Counterpoint. On Counterpoint, I have, let's say, I see a bunch of tier 9s. Let's look for anything that's tier 7. I see no tier 7s on this, so I'm going to pull off a tier 8. I'll be like, okay, 
tier eight off, go pull. And then I'll put my new Aqua over here because I'm pulling for Aqua. And that can give me eight points. Maybe I'm stuck at 92 and I need 100 points. Boom. There you go because I know I'm pulling for a certain metal. So that's a little bit of advice there. Clear your sub slots. Make sure they're all filled. And then go do your pulls. So time to sell. All right. So how do we sell? We go to, to the menu. You guys go to your metal list. Metal list will bring you here. On the top left right over here, click sell metals. And then I would sort from the beginning. On this menu right here, click on tier twos and special attack that will bring you all the tier twos you currently have and like i said i do have all these tier twos here that are pretty much extras or they're just sitting here for a long long time they show up quite often and i'm just going to go ahead and sell them all currently if i push sell button it says i got 40 points from these tier twos but i think i'm about to unlock all these tier twos and just stick them into the gutter you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to clear my inventory from everything uh, tier 7 and below. It's probably going to get sold. So I'm going to go sell some metals. I'll talk about this in another video in more detail. Uh, but me personally, I pretty much have everything in album. You click on album and these are all the metals you have ever, ever owned. It shows you everything from t uh, one star, two star, to seven star, to every copy. So if you ever want to be like, oh, I have that metal, you can come over here and show it off. You know what I mean? And if you 7 started already, you got the Supernova for it, so you don't got to worry about that. So if you are someone who might miss your medals, the album is there for completionists. If you're someone who wants to keep them in your inventory, that's a personal preference. That's up to you. For me, um, especially because I have two accounts, I'm not too worried about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell a bunch of medals right now. Another piece of advice is don't sell your limited medals. Um, I guess I could. I guess I really, really could. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, but if you're someone who wants those rare medals and make them 7-star one day, they're there. But that's going to cost you Mickey and Brooms, extra copies. Um, but I've seen a couple people, <laughs> Endelfin, uh, sell limited-time medals that were special that won't probably won't come back. Or they might. Who knows? But again, this is a warning to everyone. Don't sell your special medals. And at the same time, this is just a preference. They might make these Tier 2s powerful later. Or maybe not. They're just the fodder that you do in every single pull. So it's up to you. I unlocked everything. I got 90. I feel no different. <laughs> All right. The last little bit. I'm selling just enough to do that one pull with you guys. There we go. A couple from tier three. Let's go do the pull together. Hopefully I'm recording. If I'm not, I'll rip. <laughs> so you can pull as much as you want from this banner. So if you sell 5,000 worth of... Uh, points worth of medals that means you get 50 pulls if my math is properly who knows it's probably wrong but 50 pulls 100 pulls whatever you guys got if you guys were hoarders congratulations your hoarding paid off if you want to sell it all so here comes the free pull uh this is my free to play count so if i get an elsa uh it's gonna be pretty funny but i'm hoping it's something i don't have muggles muggles everywhere give me something i can share upright upright come on something i don't have something i don't have something i don't have no, <laughs> I have you. Oh, yeah. Every metal that comes out of here is boosted. Every single one that comes out of here is boosted. They're all boosted. So if you do get something really good, it's going to be very powerful for a very long time. And this is going to increase your sub slots by a lot. And again, if you're selling tier 10s for some reason, I don't think anyone's going to be selling tier 10s. But if you do sell tier 10s, they're worth 10 points, 10 tier 10s equals 100 points, one drop. So you're trading 10 tier 10s for one supernova medal that might not be a tier 10. So be careful when you go a little bit higher up there. If they're not part of sub slots, they still have powerful attacks. So do be careful. But again, my next video will be talking about all that. So I'll cover a little bit more detail because I will be selling all my medals with you guys and then doing all those pulls. For now, that is my first pull and only pull of this video. And then I'll be pulling for Aqua. It's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. But you guys are going to choose from what you have if you're going to go for any of these or just skip them out. That's pretty much the entire update for 3.5.0 quality of life. Really good banner to clean out your inventory. And I'm going to clean it out because I don't want to increase my inventory anymore. So that saves me jewels in the future. Uh, finally, that hoarding paid off, which is nice. So good luck to you guys. If you're doing all those polls, I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash Melly Octopus, where I'll be doing polls as well with you, uh, clearing events most likely. So if you guys want to join, link will be down in the description or just go on Twitch and look for Smelly Octopus. It's only me there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll smell you later.